Hey guys, welcome out to the shop tonight. We have a little treat for you guys, a little hand plane. So currently the workbench is being taken over by a small engine repair on this Husqvarna chainsaw. It is a little bit damaged with a bad piston right there. It's very bad. The spring is stuck on one end and it's just gouged out. So we are waiting for parts on that, but in the meanwhile, I decided that we'll fix this little guy up. Now, what this is, is a Frankenplane. Now, what do you I mean by Frankenplane? I mean that it says Stanley on it, but I believe that lever cap right here is not Stanley by any means. The whole entire thing is painted green, which means that at one point, whoever tried to restore it had that top on it, and I've been doing a lot of research, and I cannot find this specific lever cap, cap on there with a Stanley hand plane. So what we're gonna do tonight is dismantle it, throw it in the sandblasting cabinet and get the rust off, get the paint off, get the iron sharpened up, and hopefully put this thing back into business. So we have commandeered this little corner of the bench just to work on this hand plane. So we've got all of the pieces apart. We've got the pins out. We've got in the adjustment lever right there. The little front knob, that is in really good condition, surprisingly. But like I said, this was a Franken plane, so this may not be original. And that's why it looks so good. But as you can see, like this paint is just... I don't know who painted it. It looks like this needs to come off too. I don't know who painted it black or green, but somebody did. We're gonna take it back down and paint it all black again. I'm hoping that's what color it was to begin with anyway. All right, now we have all the parts apart. So let's go ahead and throw it on the small parts tray and then in the sandblast cabinet. Let's go ahead and take this out, see if we have to re-blast any of the different pieces. Remember, tap on the doors always. Stuff still falls out. Now all this still has to kind of get blown off, but there's the plain body. Needs to get blown off, cleaned up still a little bit more. There's the cap. All that green paint is now off of there. All the rust seems to be removed completely. See this has a number six on it. So if you guys know if this is actually a Stanley cap, you know, leave it in the comments down below. I don't believe it is, but I don't know everything. So it could be. There's the lever adjuster. Uh, that still has some green on it. See it right there? So, that's why I always try to inspect it before really going any further. Let's put that back in there. There's the brass thumb screw. So, we'll clean that up with some, um, what do you call it, a scotch Bright. That polishes these up really nice. And then, we got that pin in here somewhere. 
There it is. And I decided not to even try sandblasting this because it was so small and I did not want to lose it. So we'll just take some sandpaper to it or scotch Bright. That way it doesn't lose any of the thickness. So we got one more piece still in there that we got to get done. And yeah. Let's go fire this back up. Put on the headphones or the earphones, the earmuffs. So now what I'm doing is just putting down some masking tape so I can get ready for some paint and the type of paint I use is black enamel it's a bit more durable so we'll just tape this these edges off so a good way to clean this up is using a razor blade and you just push down on that edge and it'll actually tear it perfect so that you guys can get that nice paint job So as you saw with the brass screw, it worked out perfect. We got in the sand blaster, cleaned out all the gunk that's around the threads in there. So somebody asked me the other day why I was sandblasting brass when it wasn't rusty. And the reason why I sandblasted the brass saw nuts, that's what it was on, as a hand, on a handsaw, is because it was a lot easier to get inside where the um, flathead screwdrivers go. It's a lot easier to blast all that out. The threads, it's a lot easier to get the sandblaster and blast all that stuff out. So that's what I went ahead and did today as well. And then you saw I put it in the drill and with the threads inside the drill and then had some 4 aught steel wool. And I mean that polished up very nice. So what I'm working on now, well the other parts of the hand plane are drying with the black enamel is I'm going to work on the iron and I don't know if you can tell but the iron tip is very nice it seems like it's very flat so this should be easy to go ahead and get sharpened back up I just need to put it on some different sandpapers and then I will take it on over to a sharpening stone
All right, so I've already cleaned it up and put it on this 320 grit and I'm just polishing it up with some steel wool. There are a lot of little pitting areas on this, but for the main portion of it, it is flat. The main parts that you want flat are right here around the mouth, right here on the front of the toe and on the back of the plane, which says R. There's no pitting on this back side. The very, very front edge looks like it has some pitting right there. There are some deep pits right here on this corner and right here. There's a little group of pitting right here in the middle, but I think for the most part that'll be fine. I don't want to go too deep because as you can see, I got some pitting right in this section right here, but I don't want to go too deep on this. So I'm leaving it as it is right here. And it should be fine for just being a small block, a block plane. Like I said, you got some pitting right here on the side. And this is what's going to end up happening when you have something just stored away and don't ever really get it used. I got some pitting right here. So, I mean, this is an older plane. And I mean, get some of that metal dust off of there. So, I mean, you can't really expect it to be pristine pristine especially when the I mean the iron has some pitting on it too so we're gonna go ahead and it's already got the iron sharpened it's hiding behind the mouth I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a piece of lumber real quick and we're gonna test this out Well, I would definitely say that's a success. All right, guys. Well, that's it. The hand plane, the number 120, is finished up. This thing turned out really nice. I really like the way that the brass knob polished up after putting it in the sandblaster. This is the second time that I have put brass in the sandblaster sandblasting cabinet and I mean I think it really turns out really good especially after getting it polished up a little bit and everything was so much easier to clean up with how rusty it was pitted uh, the sandblasting um, material got into all the little pits which is really nice now cleaning up the pits is a different story because you don't want to take away too much and not have enough material that's why I kind of stopped where it's at and there is some pitting which is unfortunate but you know comes with the age of the hand plane so thanks guys for watching and checking out today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did hit that thumbs up button i appreciate it if you guys are new hit that subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys on the next video